I remember it was quite crisp and frost, frosty day. And on the way, when my friend handed me the ticket, he says, whatever you do, just make sure you don't go down the central tunnel because so, it gets crowded. So that like, stuck in my mind, really. As soon as you arrived outside the, uh, the ground, uh, it was the atmosphere felt very different. There was a police officer on horseback uh, behind us who seemed to be arguing with another police officer and um, not really knowing what they should do. And then all of a sudden, uh, a gate, which is I now know as Gate C, opened, uh, and I saw that being opened by a police officer. And a crowd of uh, us uh, managed to run in uh, through that gate. It wasn't particularly uh, a heavy crowd. I gather the gate was opened several times after that, uh, but we got in uh, probably a hundred or so fans uh, through the gate that was opened into the area behind Leppings Lane. And all you can see when you go into that concourse uh, behind Leppings Lane is the tunnel, the tunnel which leads to the two central pens. And naturally you make your way towards the, that tunnel, um, which I did, but then remembered what my friends had said. And I was able to turn around and try and find uh, a way around to the side pens. Looking at the two central pens, you could see it was very crowded, overcrowded. You started to see fans trying to climb over to our pen, trying to cl be, uh, climb up onto the stand above. We were, a few of us were shouting up at the police control box, trying to attach, uh, attract the attention of the police officers in there. The game kicked off. Uh, I don't remember the game kicking off because I was too worried about what was going on in the central pens. Uh, noticed gradually one or two people being helped over onto the pitch. Uh, um, one young person uh, seemed to be laid down on the pitch in front of our part of the terrace uh, who looked as though they'd fainted. And I thought to myself, this is a bit more than just overcrowding. Uh, and I was quite easily able to walk down to the front of the terracing where I was and shout to a police officer and said, look, I'm a doctor, I need to get on the pitch. And he opened the gate to get onto the pitch. And as soon as you got onto the pitch, it was just chaos. There was a scan very quickly and you, there was one body after another lying on the pitch. While I was resuscitating this first person, uh, um, I grabbed hold of a St. John's ambulance guy, uh, asked him to take over, having checked this guy's pulse and uh, he, he wasn't breathing, there was no heartbeat, uh, and I went on to somebody else. And that was, it turns out to be Sarah Hicks. Uh, Trevor and Jenny Hicks lost both her daughters, Sarah and Vicky. I didn't know them at the time, um, but there was Sarah, uh, and there was Trevor, uh, Sarah's father, trying to resuscitate him. What sticks in my mind is Trevor saying, come on, Sarah, come on. Um, and uh, there was, he was doing mouth to mouth while I was doing cardiac massage. He was in a dilemma. He said, I don't know whether to stay with Sarah or go with Vicky. And I said to him, look, I'm a doctor. I'll stay with Sarah. You go with Vicky. Um, so he went off. Um, I continued to try and resuscitate Sarah with the help of another off-duty police officer. Uh, and after some minutes, there was still no pulse, no heartbeat. Uh, and in my mind, I felt that she was dead. Uh, so again, I left her with uh, uh, a duty, the police officer and somebody else and went on to another person. And there must have been two or three other people before I came to another uh, body, a young uh, Liverpool fan with a candy t-shirt on, the, the advertisement on his shirt. And uh, as we started resuscitating him, I could feel a pulse. Uh, it wasn't breathing, but I could feel a pulse. Um, and so we, we carried on resuscitate, trying to resuscitate him. Uh, and some fans brought uh, an advertising hoarding and they used ad these advertising hoardings as temporary uh, stretches. Uh, and they were wanted to take this chap off, uh, who I later find out, I only found out about three or four months ago that this chap was Tony Bland. Animosity, the feeling that they've got away with it for years. Um, yeah, anger, really. 
that. Uh, but also uh, an incredible pride for the power of the, the people, the, the, the parents who have been shouted down over the years, um, that you know the power of them, it can change things uh, and hopefully it has changed things.